We're back. What are you going to pull a Voss? I don't like wearing them. Why? I don't know. They make me hot. I run hot. I don't like wearing You make them. me hot. Hey. 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 Save it for our fair. What's up? We're here. This is a very uh, impromptu YKWD. Wasn't supposed to happen, but it's happening. It is. It's happening. Um, we got Joey D. Happy to be here. The motherfucker, the, the, the place to be. Joey D, one of my favorites, one of the ori- the original. They have the regs, then we have the ridge. Yeah. You're the ridge. The ridge. You're the ridge. The ridge. Soder's like when uh Soder's like when Ron Howard left Happy Days. He was the next guy in. Who played Ron after that? What happened with Ron Howard? It was uh it was Ted McGinley, the same guy that took over as the neighbor in um uh, uh Married with Children. That guy? Yeah. He was on Happy Day. He didn't play Ron. He didn't play the same character. He played like a cousin that came to live with them after Ron Howard left. Really? Yeah. And then the show fell apart. Oh well, yeah, because Ron was the you needed Ron. You need it. Yeah, you need like ratings. Roseanne needed Roseanne. They're going strong still. So no, they just they just. What's the ratings on that show? They said it was the highest rated show on ABC. Well, what, 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 what is it? I what, don't know the numbers, but it ABC. just it just premiered. The new season premiered again. There's no way that show's good. I've heard not not one. Per- if I don't watch it. And that's a theory I have. If I don't watch it, it's not a good show. I got some friends on the show, so I hope it does well for them. But oh, I also geez. think it's weird that they're doing it without Rosa. So we really can't have the real full Joe DeRosa opinion because you're Hollywood in this. I'm up. Not, I mean, if I'm being honest, I'm not a fan of it without Roseanne. But I also have friends that are who's, on there. Who's on it? Who, who, My friend fr- Jay's on there. And, As and, a what? Uh, he plays Sarah Gilbert's like love interest. And Sarah Gilbert, I did a sitcom with, and she's she's really sweet. And you know, so I hope they they make their money. But it but is that if the I'm, chick that's on the uh, the the look, the the the, the talk? What's it called the ch- not the chew? The, the, the talk. talk. The talk. Oh, the views. The other. One. Okay, yeah, the talk. The yeah. talk. Is that yeah. that's her? Yeah, yeah. She's is she really main. a lesbian in life? Yeah, she's married oh. to the woman from uh, Four Non Blondes. Remember that song? Yeah, good song. Well, I say hey, hey yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I say hey, yeah. What's going on? I, I like that song. A little bit, maybe, maybe you know, side. I'm gonna wear the wig up, head real high. I say hey, <laughs> dumb hat, <laughs> her sweaty top hat. Yeah. She had made it. By, she was dressed like a Batman villain. Yeah, she in had that video. Took seven cows to make that hat. <laughs> Just smells like cow shit and sweat. That, hat, the- that hat smells like festivals. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guarantee just, it. Smells like some type of dis- dick disease. Um, <laughs> well, the Connors. Yeah. Five. Five point five. Is that good or bad? Dude, they had 20,000 million. 20,000 million is not a number, first of all. Yeah, but Hold it was an exaggerated number, which gave me the point. <laughs> That's what I do. I exaggerate. I mean, five million is a Dude, lot. Dude, eighteen point nine million people were watching that show on a weekly basis. That is not good. But that was listen. I hear you. They were watching it every week. But that was a phenomenon. Yeah, because Roseanne was in it. I know. I'm saying though, you know, for for what for now, it's just being a regular sitcom. Five point five is pretty high. Yeah, but you 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 you. I mean. I mean, they're behind This Is Us, and This Is Us is like the fucking show. Yeah, This Is Us is NCI 12.5. They're wow. beating Empire, dude. The Empire Voice. The Empire's done, though. Empire. And that guy, you know he lost his mind, right? Who, Smollett or Terrence Howard? Well, There's a lot of crazies of on Ter- that show. There's a lot of, <laughs> isn't it true? 
Terrence Howard's been nuts from day one. He's you, dude, pull up Terrence Howard uh, fucking talking numbers in an interview. Have you heard this? <laughs> no, no, no. Buddy. I put the phone This fucking there. guy. Terrence Howard losing his mind or something like that. Google that uh, in an interview. Yeah, Terrence. He, yeah. Dude, he's. Dude, but here, I'm, uh, you're going to listen to this, and then I'm going to tell you something at the end of it. Okay? Oh, wait, oh look, Steve Byrne. Remember when he? Uh, remember when he went f- when he he got booted out of Iron Man because yeah he demanded as much money as Robert Downey Jr. and they were like, "Are you nuts?" <laughs> they went. They went. Listen to me. Uh, we'll see. We're gonna get a shorter black guy to play you. <laughs> they got. They got. What's his name? Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle. They don't even fi- look similar. Literally five two. Yeah, they look nothing alike. There's nothing f- scary about him. Yeah. Yeah. That's so funny. Uh, yeah, play that. Terrence Howard leaves Earth. <laughs> play the Terrence. Terrence Howard leaves Earth. The second one. Play this one. This is fucking nuts. Um. Yeah. Do, yeah. Turn that down. Uh, here we go. Uh, you skip over this fuck face. Just go to where he's at. So I hate when they do this on YouTube. I, that dude's there the whole time. He ain't going anywhere. Yeah, but he, don't they play? Oh, there, yeah, there okay, it is. there we go. Go back a little bit. Go back, go back. He, listen to me, dude. This fucking guy. Right there. Go back just a little bit further. There you All go. Right. Play that. We can listen to this guy for a second. Yeah, there you go. You know, Pythagoras was searching for. I was able to open up the flower of life properly and find the real wave conjugations that we've been looking for for 10,000 years. Why would I continue, you know, walking on water for tips when I've got an entire generation to teach a whole new world? That, that's a big remark. What, what, what do you intend to, to do? Well, let me put it this way. All energy in the universe is expressed in motion. All motion is expressed in waves. All waves are curved. So where does the straight lines come from to make the platonic solids? There are no straight lines. So when I took the flower of life and opened it properly, I found a whole Pause it, pause it, pause it. How perfect is that graphic behind him? (laughs) That looks like sand running out of an hourglass. <laughs> like somebody just losing their fucking shit. That is such a perfect graphic to be flowing yeah, behind but you. If you listen to this, listen to this. Listen. I expose the in between spaces. That's, it's the thing that holds us all together. And you're going to be sharing that? I'm sharing that. On, on Tuesday, when I receive my star, I'm going to be able to prove that gravity is only an effect and not a force. I'm putting something on YouTube where I will build the planet Saturn without gravity and build the Milky Way galaxy wow. without gravity. Did you also Tuesday. say you're getting your star on? Yeah. On the walk of fame. On the walk of fame, which is interesting. How am I getting a star you when you paid I've never for it. TV when I've never received the Emmy nomination? Pause it. Because you pay for it. They buy the stars. Then they yeah. act like it's this fucking gift. Do they really? Yeah. They buy them. I could buy one? Yeah. Well, I, I think like you... <laughs> I don't mean that shitty. I think you have to be at a certain level of Hollywood stardom. And they go, look, you can buy one. Yeah. But they buy... How am I getting a star? Because you bought it. <laughs> you bought it with this money that doesn't seem to matter anymore. <laughs> Did I, you hear him? Yeah. But can I just say something? If you think about it, it kind of makes sense. <laughs> Like in my brain, I'm like, what if he did? What if he did open the flower of life? I mean, it's it's Ty Liz. <laughs> you are the worst. No. <laughs> did Liz say about when she made me do seven shots? Yeah, she's trying to kill you. She yeah, and then me you. and Che in a drunken stupor booked yeah. a fucking show we both forgot about. <laughs> We're like, oh, yeah, the 29th, let's, do a, let's co-host a show. It's a great <laughs> idea. You booked a show shit-faced? Yeah, and then Liz texted us the day before, like, you guys still want to do this? Thankfully, Che was like, uh, SNL, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready to. <laughs> <laughs> she brought you up more alcohol? Yeah. I, uh, That's 100 proof. This is, I'm no, I'm no stranger to Casamigos, but I got some nice Hornitos here, and I like Hornitos. I like Hornitos like better. This start. Ooh. I lost she wrote my, your name on the back of I know, it. I know. I'm, we're going to keep it here, and I'm going to drink it, but it's, it, this starts to taste too much like vanilla to me. It That's like what vanilla. your crowd say. It tastes like vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Oh, Billy! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's your birthday, dude? Yeah. You I didn't, didn't know, know that. that. No, he didn't tell me. Uh, buddy, what? Yeah, yeah, 
I this am. This is the gayest it. wrapping paper I can find. <laughs> As That's well, a, there's I, another I, card I, here, I, too. I'm carrying it all around New York, so I have the joke set on me. How you doing? How are you? What's, What's up, buddy? Bobby! Bobby. Hey. Oh, how are you? You started shaking and you're fucking... Good to see you. Yeah, we, we evened it out. If this is a certain comedian's head... Uh, Wait, <laughs> no, is okay. your birthday today? <laughs> today. You don't know this? No, yes. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, my friends did. This well, is from you, my dude. <laughs> I drank a lot in my teens. <laughs> How old are you today? Ah, uh, this is a sad thing. I thought I was forty-eight, and Dawn went, "You're forty-nine." Oh, I literally was like, "I'm forty-eight." She goes, "Ah, uh, you're forty-nine." Well, I got you a beautiful bottle for your house. You can forty-nine. <laughs> Forty you, fucking. 49. Happy you got the camera? Birthday, you good with the camera? You going to open this on air? Should I? Can I open it on air? Do you mind? Do you want me to open it off air? Uh, don't read the car on, card on Are air. you nuts? <laughs> don't read Dear Bobby, I'm so glad you're still in my life. No, it's not like that at all. <laughs> <laughs> Who's a deaf person on this thing? All cranked up. Uh, can thank you, buddy. This is really, this huh? is... I love watching a guy open a present. Huh? It's no, you can watch him open the present. Go ahead. You can read the, you can read the card. Just don't, because the today's comedy climate. <laughs> that card is a fireable offense. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. I'll never be able to be a senator or a feature act. Well, I guess. Can I read the front of yes. it? Yes. <laughs> can I read the card? You can read the card. Okay. Just some. <laughs> some. <laughs> just don't read the card. Some people are just born fabulous. And there's a little. Uh, little I would say a little it. chubby girl in the front. We're already off to a problematic start. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> like you, for example. <laughs> Like you, for example, happy birthday. All right, I'm going to read the rest of the card, but in silence. There's no cameras behind me, right? Yeah, don't, don't, don't read. Right. One of them is a callback to your spelling error from the fucking 1990s internet. I know exactly what that is. That's all you had to say. <laughs> I know you can't. I gotta read. That's how you Can fucking spelled that word. <laughs> yeah. Can I read yeah, it? But there's cameras, though. You got to hold it down. You can't yeah, read that. Yeah. <laughs> that's a great one. Uh, <laughs> that's literally how he spelt that word, too. <laughs> I did. He <laughs> sounded it out. All right. All right. Let's Bobby. do this. Hey. I'm very excited. This paper is... Uh, I remember that. Yeah. I remember you pointing that out to me. Yeah. <laughs> or you telling me that and <laughs> laughing heartily about it. Right. Mike, should I open yours first? Oh, it's from all Jesus, of us. Jesus, I look like a real asshole. I didn't know it was your birthday, dude. No, nah, Joe, I got you. Make working. sure you had what you needed. I didn't know it was Happy your birthday. Happy birthday to dudes. <laughs> Happy birthday <laughs> to dudes. <laughs> Happy birthday, <laughs> dear Bobby. <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> Happy birthday <laughs> to dudes. <laughs> You guys are so oh, this funny. This is nice. Uh, ooh. Wow. Oh, dude. Dude. Wow. Man, your bass drum dude. pedal bugged me. Did it bug you? Yeah. That piece it was, of shit. It was annoying me. <laughs> it was really bad, dude. Oh, man. Oh, That's boy. right. Right there. Wow. That's the Lexus right there. Oh, yeah, you upgraded. Boy. Fuck, dude. There That's is. awesome. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I really do have what a shitty drum kind pedal. Of, uh, pedal is it? Uh, the DW nine thousand. Oh shit! Wow, the fuck. DW, dude, that is so. Man, thank you there so you much. Go. That's a nice gift, Bill. That That's is your, a fucking uh, great gift. There you go. Yeah, that is. That All is right, a great so I'm gift. Expecting some softball questions for the rest of this podcast. Uh, well, I w I would love to though. We're just going to do softball questions, and this is from uh, Michael uh, and the whole crew here. At YKWD. Now, can that be read on air, Michael? Do I pull this or something? Is this something Mexican? It's Michael? a pinata, but it's not a working pinata. Oh, okay. Well, can I read this on air? Yes. Okay. It's Happy for, uh, birthday. And Liz. We love you. Stuff. Liz, Colin, Keith. Oh, vo no, it says not Voss. Yeah. That's hilarious. Maybe Norton, depending on his mood. What a great card. And it grows across the top. Uh, Dross had nothing to do with this. <laughs> she just is evil. It says it right what is there. God Almighty? Who said that? Liz. Liz. She Happy just birthday. fucking rides me, dude. 
You know why? Because you show it. Also, you also a whole bottle of tequila and wrote, DeRosa, drink this like a real man. Also, SD Gnome, <laughs> <laughs> by proxy, happy birthday, Bobby. From Mike, Zach, and Gabby. That's so nice. Thank you. That's very nice. Thank you very much. What fell out of it? You took something out Did of it. Something the... come out of this? Is there something in it? No. Protection. Oh, it's just protection. Is there so, a gift in there? Uh, no. There's no, just a card. Yeah, just a card. What do you mean you're making me ask that question for? I mean, it's, you know, it's nice. Is it nice? <laughs> what do you want? I was supposed to get a gift? <laughs> you open with the closer. And you yeah, close I did. I really opener. fucking did. You put very... that fan on second when he needed to go oh, first. Oh, the fact that nice card. just care. <laughs> Yeah, it's a nice card. They all cared about me. It said it's not, not you. It's not even a working pinata funny. card. This is fucking great. I want to go play the drums. I got go. a new neighbor, though, Burr. <sighs> I knew people. Dolores, who was the best next door, loved the, playing the drums. Never gave a fuck. Uh-huh. But I got a brand new neighbor that moved in next door, this couple. And I don't know if the, you know, the well, drums wait. are right in that room. Well, here's the thing. Do they yeah. both work? Just play drums today. The they got a brand new baby coming. Ooh. She brand well, you new gotta baby. respect that. Drums are obnoxious, dude. Yeah, you have to you gotta fucking you have to soundproof a room. You just can't have you just have yours. This is just in a room. Yeah, yeah mine it's... are just in a room with like huge nineteen fifties. Dude, you remember we had that neighbor that sang? They yeah. did the voice lessons and they went, ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> ah, and you're like, shut up. Just Horrible. drums are worse than that. When I was growing up, our neighbors <laughs> called the cops on us all the time because I played drums. They would call really? the cops on us. Frequently. Yeah, I know. I got the pads. Maybe I'll put the pads. I'm going to go over to them and go, listen. No, dude, those things aren't good because what happens with those fucking pads. You hurt is, your wrist. Yeah, and it goes, like the shock goes into your arm rather than, you know, you just hitting the drum and letting it. Yeah. yeah. And, and you want to hear the fucking things anyway. You're not yeah. playing them to play Soundproof them, dude. Buy <laughs> one less, How do I soundproof a window? Buy one less hatchet. And spend the money on soundproof in the room. What the fuck does that mean? What do you mean? You a buy hatchet? a lot of hatchets and knives and things to go on your camping trip. Yeah, I'm, I like I like camping. I know, I'm shit. saying skip out on the next the hatchet five thousand that you got your eye on <laughs> and just soundproof oh, the room. Speaking of which, I fucking uploaded. I wasn't even thinking. I was tired last night, and I fucking upgraded to the new operating system, and it just killed my phone. Yeah, all I can do, and yeah, I got to get the new one. Fucking Why? Assholes. You can't have it. What do you mean you can't have it? You can't have it. Well, cause Why can't he can't have it? Why no, can't he have it? I'm making a joke. I'm doing good, oh, fellas. We oh, can't, we can't <laughs> have it. Well, now now like, none work. of my texts go through. Unless I'm on like a Wi-Fi system here. It's weird. People call me, and then I got to fucking... You know, they text me, and then I have to call them back. None of your texts go through. Remind me to send a thank you to Apple. Folks. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. I didn't. Yeah, I saw it coming. I didn't think it was going to be good. It was actually good. I know, folks. Folks is what did it. That was it's pretty fun fucking good. I just watched podcast, uh, John Fox on the Dangerfield special, oh, yeah. and just to hear it when he does that, uh, whatever that fucking bit is with the kid with the name. I fucking love the joke. But just watching Dangerfield bring him up, John Fox. Yeah. yeah. He goes, "Okay, you ready, Johnny Baby? All right, <laughs> Johnny Baby." He was uh, great. I don't. You know what sucks about him is I didn't. Like him enough when he was around, and now that he's gone, I'm like fuck. You know, was, like I never paid attention to him. I don't. He was, mean, he was just that guy with a fucking dumb tie. Oh, no respect. But now I look oh, Dangerfield. Dangerfield. I think meant John Fox. Uh, who the fuck is John Fox? John Fox, Who's legend. That? Another guy. I shouldn't he, even. He's fucking, gone. Yeah, no, really. Just legend. The, uh, is that the guy with the eye? No, legendary rogue guy, guy with the ro- with the he had a mullet and the mustache. He was the guy who would always Bring be like, man, let me tell you something. Like he sounded like a Two wrestler. Fireman with butt fucking in him. That's what he would start with. Yeah. The uh, well, why don't you just get mouth to mouth? How do you think this got started? <laughs> <laughs> I he uh, I heard the craziest story ever about him, but the guy told it on a documentary in an adu- so. Listen to the Tom Rhodes podcast. It's the last one that he does before he passes. Is that him? Away. The owner. Oh, yeah. The owner of the Punchline in Atlanta told yeah. a story in a documentary interview about John in the 80s. John Fox was banging one of his waitresses, and she got a DUI and got taken into jail. So four in the morning, John gets the call, like, I need you to bail me out. So he calls the fucking club owner because he didn't have a way to get there. And the club owner said they drove to the jailhouse to bail the chick out. And while they were waiting, they went and did coke in the bathroom. <laughs> at the police station. Yeah, I was like, man, it dude, was a he, different he has, time. He has a million, I remember at the, at the Atlanta punchline. I forget how the fucking story went. That's he somehow was he was holding a dollar bill 
that somebody gave him some form of cash, and some woman mooned him from the crowd, and he fucking stuck it in her ass. <laughs> Finger <shit>. first. <laughs> and everybody laughed, including the woman. And that was it. That was like the 80s. Uh, I wish I was back in the 80s. Yeah. Play that. I want to hear this guy. Play, play Rodney. I want to hear what Rodney... Bring it back to Rodney. Put on your seatbelts, okay, folks? Here's John Fox. All right, ready for you now, Johnny, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, baby. <laughs> Look at those jeans. Look at you wearing a hooded sweatshirt. Two firemen are butt-fucking in a smoke-filled room. <laughs> <laughs> the chief says, what are you doing? He says, sir, this man's got smoke inhalation. He said, well, give him mouth to mouth. He says, I did. How do you think this shit got started? <laughs> So how many people think I look like Captain Kangaroo after a rough weekend, huh? The 80s, baby. 80s. Remember, uh, little befuckers, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Breaking with my girlfriend this week, we're at that stage of the relationship where you know it's over, but you hate to lose that stereo. <laughs> She's not that bright. She calls me up yesterday. She says, John, the light bulb in the bathroom burned out. I don't know how to change it. I said, first, you fill the tub with water. <laughs> <laughs> I call the day, there's no answer. <laughs> hey, shit happens, you know. <laughs> Take care of your bartenders. I was a bartender. You got to remember a lot of drinks. You got to deal with a lot of assholes. I was a bartender. This lady came in with a parrot on her shoulder. Walked into the bar, says, I will fuck and I will suck. I will fuck and suck everyone in this bar. If someone guessed what this parrot weighs, I said, 500 pounds. She said, close enough, mister. <laughs> <laughs> He's old school, baby. That's so, that, hey, baby. That's that is so like eighties, late eighties, nineties. Yeah, right. Yeah, remember that when? Yeah, we knew so many guys like that too. Back in the day, would have just, I mean, fucking jokes. Yeah, it was jokes. Jokes. That I got those jokes. Are jokes, folks. I got yeah. jokes here. I got. Jokes. You know, we had, what what made us go to exposing ourselves so much? Well, that was going on back then. It was just different guys. It was a weird sort of like. You don't see any of that type of comedy really anymore. It's. Is well, it? comedy's like music, where it, it progresses. Right. So the thing is, is like, if he came up in our era, he would be doing like a different version of that. Because like people listen to that and be like, oh my God, what the fuck? That's yeah. like your uncle telling jokes or something. It's like, no, that was just the 80s. Yeah. It's the same thing with like music. I mean, if like all that fucking hair metal shit that I thought was, dude, this is fucking sick. <laughs> I go back and watch it now. I was like, oh my God, this yeah. is hilarious. Yeah. So mm. it's, I don't know. Yeah, like, uh, like uh, what was I listening to the other day? Um, Warrant. Ooh. Yeah, but I went to see them live. I remember fucking devil horning it at the Paradise. Just fucking rah. Yeah. Oh, I fucking loved it. Yeah. Remember he looked at me, the lead singer with those big fat lips, looked at me and he went like this and I went, fucking yeah. It's the greatest thing of my life. I don't know if they see if this was warrant or something else that happened. <laughs> he looked at me with his big fat lips. Yeah. Just, <laughs> and I was like, fucking yeah. <laughs> He mounted me, dude. <laughs> She's only 17, dude. Dad. I was thinking of home sweet home. <laughs> the, um, you yeah. did not see that band at the Paradise. No, it was at it was at the Paradise. No, the Paradise was. He down. always goes. I, was, I saw him at the Paradise, dude. No, no, no. Paradise was like a 300 seat thing. No, it was at well, you know, it was Warren, South Boston. Remember in South Boston, it was all yeah, it was, rock you, clubs. You, what was you, the rock club over there? Yeah, like, was the uh, the channel? The channel. That's where I saw him. The channel. Yeah, that makes more sense. I saw him at the channel. Yeah, that's it. The channel. You know they had the Boston. Remember we did when we when Al the Monkeys <laughs> took a you're hot hanging one. Hanging to that fucking thing. <sighs> All these years of doing stand up, you need to hang onto a mic stand. <laughs> you remember we did the uh, the the Barack of Boston show after Al and the Monkeys won the. The uh, whatever the fuck it was, the Boston the Comedy Riot. Right, yes, I was there. Well, the year before, <laughs> the year before. <laughs> hey, that was a rough one, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen three young men ever thrown to the lions. <laughs> Romans wouldn't have done what they did to those four. These four guys. young men. Four young men. Sorry, that was the worst. <laughs> Dude, it, they won the Boston Comedy Ride, the WBCM, which was the big rock station. But they had it at the channel. No, they had it at the, the Boston Par Garden. The, the year before, they had it at the Paradise. Right. So it was, that's a 300-seater. The next year, they changed it to the Boston Garden, 14,000 No, people. no, no, no. 
stitches. You wanted it stitches. What, no, the the Rock of Boston show oh, was oh, at oh, oh, the oh. Paradise the year before. It was always at the Paradise. It got so big. Oh, they, that's why they put you guys. They there. changed it to the. They changed it to the Boston Garden. We won the comedy riot. They asked us to do the show, a rock show in front of fourteen thousand people, Who was as an band? improv. Okay, let me set sketch this up here. They had the main stage. Where like all these big bands from there. I remember the Spin Doctors. It was their first fucking tour. Yeah. Fish was closing. Oh Jesus! Just but it was like big, yeah. known fucking bands. Blue Traveler. And then and, and then that, yeah. yeah, and then they yeah. would have on while while they were like changing the setup, so it would keep going. They had a smaller stage where the crowd would turn around and there'd be an acoustic act. And then now here's the Spin Doctors, and then yeah. the, this blah blah. So in one of those changeovers, they went to an improv group. It was this, the, this is where the Boston Bruins, the Boston Celtics played. There was thirteen thousand fucking people there. Yeah. Is it the Comics Come Home place? No, that's the basketball no, this, this, arena. This place didn't exist. This was great, dude. Is you played the Garden, the old, the original Boston Garden? That's fucking sick. <laughs> but dude, they they went out there and it was in like two seconds. People throwing shit at them. We were the last changeover right after the Spin Doctors, right before Fish. So funny. And we were all in different colored shirts, tucked in, like purple, blue, green. They were yellow improv group. Improv group. And we we and Dane Cook had the the great idea. He goes, we should all turn around and squat down, and when they announce us, we jump and spin to the crowd. And for some reason, we thought that was a good idea. So they announced us, and we jumped up and spun. Oh, I must have blocked that out. I don't remember that part. I just yeah. remember walking out, and I was. I mean, I'd only been doing comedy like a year, and I was just like, this is not gonna go well. <laughs> Six months, dude. You guys won it so fast. I started in March of '92 by. August 92, these guys won the riot. And I just remember going like, this is an impossible situation. And I saw it, and I just, I just sat there with my mouth open. When they started throwing the, <laughs> the paper cups down from the upper deck, I mean, dude, they got a full fucking, they got a full facial Oof, on that one. Dude, you, and they were not on stage longer than 40 seconds. Yeah, they right? came out, they said, hey, what's up? Everybody's like, hey, what's up? And then you went, you went, Root, and everyone went, Root, like he was going to start singing. He just started doing these noises. And you saw in their faces like, what the fuck are we going to do? And you guys started doing, they, they were doing this yeah. bit where they did uh, the Chinese karate movie where, where the fucking, the lips are oh, moving. Boy. They started to do that, which was a total visual joke. Yeah. You had to be able to see their lips. Yeah. To a stadium full of people on In acid. In front of 13,000 fucking show. people. Everybody saw fucking mushrooms uh, and acid. And there was no like big screen to put them on. <laughs> It we, was. We never did it with mics because we were in small rooms. So you're holding mics so and doing this. We didn't understand that until that night when they were like, "Listen, you have these are your mics." We were like, "Yeah, but uh, don't you have cordless mics?" Yes. Yeah, Bobby would sit there. Bobby would be going like, as, as Al would be going like, "Why do you do that? You fuck my daughter." Uh, doing this really bad thing, and then he's going, <laughs> just doing that in front of thirteen thousand people, and they were like, for about half a second, I was just. Ah! <laughs> He Holy just started throwing shit. shit. One guy in the front was going, kept going, what is Dick? He kept going, keep going. You're doing great. Oh, we did. We love it. That's great. <laughs> there was one guy. That's, that's why we, awesome. We didn't just get off. We kept going. Cause it was like, oh, well, you must have been on longer than that. that <laughs> I was, just remember. I gave a speech. You don't remember my speech? I gave a speech. I go, listen. I grabbed the microphone. I took my shirt oh. off. And I go, listen. We know you didn't come here to see this. We know you came in to see rock and roll. <sighs> The spin doctors, wah, fish, wah. give us three things that piss you off besides us before we leave. And we tried to do an improv. And I remember I looked at Dane's face and he was frozen in the improv. <laughs> I was frozen. I was just watching it. He was frozen. I remember a bead of sweat went over his eyebrow, into his eye, and over his eye, and down his cheek. And they uh, started, then they started throwing, throwing the shit. Cups. And oh, we God. left. Yeah. That is so funny to me that Boston... Even in Boston, oh, at a God. fucking hippie jam band concert, yeah. the, they're still mad enough to throw but shit. But the thing That's was, it, so it wasn't really established that Spin Doctors... The fish thing was the hippie vibe of it, yeah. but that was that big thing where they were all scampering because all the 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 you know the heavy metal left, and oh, Nirvana oh, came, oh, and okay, everyone... So you. they just threw this hodgepodge thing together. Because the, right. even the lineup of bands didn't make sense. It, it was did. like everybody got their money like... Jeffrey Gaines, remember him? He came out and sang. Jeffrey you know, Gaines, I remember, remember Jeffrey. Gaines. Remember he sang. He came out solo guitar, dude, black dude. Yeah, dreads. He came on out the and stage. Sang, you were on. Uh, in what is that? In your uh, the light. Yeah, he did an acoustic cover. Uh, dude, he did that at the garden. Is the acoustic cover? 
He he was in our dressing room. We shared a Did dressing room. It was fucking epic. My buddy in college loved that version of that song. Dude, he would play it all he the played time. that in front of all those people and murdered. Yeah. That oh, guy murdered. Was, that guy was good. It was never my cup of tea. I like him. I like him a lot. He was he was in a, our, we shared a dressing room. I remember he Why came. sitting over there like you Phil Spector. Who gives a fuck what your cup of tea is? You know? <laughs> Would you not get his name tattooed on your arm? <laughs> right. oh. Jeez. Jeez. He murdered, but he was uh, not my cup Jeez, of tea. Bill. Jeez, Jeez. I came from more of an avant garde. <laughs> I'm a Ramones guy. <laughs> I don't know why you're coming at me. <laughs> trying hey, to Phil, enjoy a drink. Phil, why don't you lay off? <laughs> <laughs> I, it's so funny to get your perspective of it. Because, I mean, no, I, I, my perspective of it, I've told a bunch of times, but I can't, I couldn't believe to be, to be in the audience and see people you know. I just, I just was thinking, oh, no. Oh, no. That, no, was, a, that was a make or break moment. That was when people were saying, you guys have played, oh, my God. We won the comedy riot. We're doing this. If we pulled that off, which we could have never pulled it off, it's it, there was no way to pull that off. As a stand-up, maybe, but not as a comedy improv sketch group. Even as I a don't even know if, if mean, you if you pull that off, there, there'd have to be the Ruben Kincaid there. This is before fucking YouTube. <laughs> I mean, they're gonna be a big star, eh? Hey? For all your young listeners, that was the manager of the Partridge family. You needed yeah, like yeah. an agent type person. Uh, <laughs> Ruben Kincaid. To, that would have had to have been there because I would feel like it, it would have been a bunch of people that were managing bands. Nobody, yeah, but if the, the buzz around us, if we murdered at the garden, because the buzz we had from winning the comedy f- festival or whatever it was, comedy competition, was huge. I, I, think, I think you were a little in the bubble, dude. What do you mean? I, I don't think anybody knew you were there. I think everybody was doing what they needed to do. That's so funny. I thought- and, then, and then they, they, they <laughs> dude, I, I'm telling you, I mean, these guys had combined maybe four and a half years of stage experience, yeah. and they sent them out there. It was, it was yeah, almost, bad. it was cruel. Well, I was just going to say, cr- you have no thing. concept at that level in the business that that sort of thing won't work. You, you'll feel fear and all that, but well, we the, didn't know the irresponsibility what... of the producers to just go, hey, fuck it, just do it. Well, they, cha- with, yeah, they, know, they, they mean, changed just, it to yeah. the garden because it was selling so well. And that when they when it was at, the, and they were like fourteen thousand. But you understand, we're in the back room. Our dressing room was the girls' bathroom, with Jeffrey Gaines. So we were. This is the greatest thing that's ever happened. We had girls just coming in, peeing, and we everybody was hanging out, and it was just rock and roll. I remember I had my leather jacket. It was fun. We ate with the spin doctors. <laughs> we had dinner with the spin. Do- it was like we and didn't you even never saw. A moment like that so heartlessly <laughs> ripped away. Yeah. Oh, man. I mean, dude, it was... What did people do backstage? After? Yeah. After, I was ignored like I've never been ignored. I just told the story when I got booed in Vegas, the look on your face when I got off stage. <laughs> the look he had on his face. I remember he came running down the stairs. He just looked at me. He was like, I can't even do the face. Like, I, I th- And they were joking on the podcast. It was like I had a head wound that I wasn't aware of. <laughs> He literally had that "you're gonna be okay" look on his face. What show was it? Uh, the, uh, uh, the circus thing. I, yeah, that Jeff Beach's. Cir- yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeff okay. Beach's show. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that that was <laughs> that was uh, the same thing where it was. It's just one of those fucking things. Yeah. That's so funny though that that's, it hap- that's if you go on stage eventually that happens. It that's does. the business. <laughs> that's the business in a nutshell. The whisked way up, and then immediately. <laughs> Yeah, but we would we would drop. They Jetsons elevator you to the top of the fucking Eiffel Tower, and then they just drop you we, right to the we bottom heard, again. We it's didn't, so but here's, this is how fucking crazy we were. Not one second were we nervous. Not for we were going in and out of the thing, looking at the show, like we're gonna be up there. Like you weren't nervous, do we? That's I didn't understand what that was. I didn't. I'd never. It was just like this is great. I was nervous after that, though. That's insane. I get nervous every fucking time now. Every fucking time I go on stage, I get nervous. When we do the Boston Garden now, when we do the Comics Come Home, me and Bill are doing it, by the way, November 9th. Ninth. Ninth. Oh, wait, so it is the Boston Garden. That is the Boston Garden. It's the new TD Garden. Oh, okay. It's okay. actually bigger now. It's okay. a better place. Oh, it was, I'm thinking of Aquinas. Aquinas? Getting, getting that was where BU plays. Yeah. Okay. It was there. 
Okay. We're actually doing it where this it year. For, I was just trying to remember where it first Par- uh, The Orpheum. The o- Orpheum. Orpheum. Yeah, down that, that alleyway. That's where, yep, that's yeah, where yeah, originally yeah. the Orpheum. That's where they did the bunch of them, the Comedy Central ones. That was one when Patrice said the, one of the funnier things that I, I loved. What's that? Where he was going. He was talking about how white the crowd was. He goes, I can literally see my mother. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and she shit. laughed and waved. It was fucking hilarious. That's great. That's a great laugh. That's, That's great. such a fucking Patrice <laughs> precise fucking thing to say. And, and it was oh my god, it was fucking hilarious. Yeah, I wish I. I mean, I like it at the garden. It's great. I know they're raising more money, but I, I do like doing those type of shows in a smaller place because that show's so big now. It's you walk out there and it's just like. Keep that train fucking going. Oh, yeah. Just keep it going. And you're looking in the front row, and there's like Captain America and fucking Cam Neely and Big Poppy. Yeah. Just keep going, you fuck face. All right, good night. Bring up the next motherfucker. Yeah. I did it. Up to you pay know, compliment to both of you. The year yeah. I did it, everybody went out and killed. Everybody had great sets, but then you two closed it, and you two went out and took it to another level. And I was like, Jesus Christ, man. Well, Joe, we like, used to work the vault. We used to work Dick. Well, Dick well it, was, it, it showed, <laughs> dude. Jesus, like the years of... The, that, that, I feel like that's when all the, the shows where you get the shit kicked out of you. Though, that's when it shows, when you have a high-pressure big one like that. Because you can go out and go, all right, oh, yeah. motherfuckers, let's go. You know, uh, you go out with that sort of bulletproof energy. Yeah. Regardless of what you feel inside. Yeah, no, you just go. You, you go with the crowd pleaser on that one. I yeah. learned that on the Opie and Anthony one. You don't go out with your fucking other shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been thinking about this. Yeah. I'm yeah. doing this new joke. <laughs> Fuck that. It is a half-baked idea. I got, let me throw it out to these fucking drunk people. See how that goes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was a fucking crazy show. I remember after I got off, I was in the back stairway, just sitting on the stairs, and people were walking by, pointing at me. And Dane and Al Del Benny, they're like, "We're gonna go, get, we're gonna go get the car. We'll meet you out in front of the garden." So I was waiting for them to go get the car. Oh yeah, you guys had to immediately leave. And I went out front, and I'm sitting out front waiting. It was cold out too, and uh, ten minutes, fifteen minutes, all of a sudden twenty minutes. I'm like, "Fuck!" I had to go to a payphone. That's when they had no cell phones. I call fucking Al. I go, he answers the phone. I go, where are you? What are you doing? What? He goes, dude, we forgot. They forgot all about me. They just went back to Arlington. What? They left me there. How could they forget about you? I had to call my Uncle Sean. My Uncle Sean, who was there. Because they were so shell Dude, they were kids. They were like yeah, 20, 21 years old and just it got was... booed by 15,000 people after they thought that they were going to make it and become big stars. No, dude, we thought this was it. We thought this was it. This is actually, this is the funny part. We thought it was it, but it was actually the end. It was, was literally the, the end. Ended? Huh? Was that when the group no, ended? No, the group ended when Dan got a Sprite commercial. But listen, the thing is. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it took. Dude, I got another game. Uh, it was a thin tether. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, we all met at, what was it, Hojo's. Uh, guys, we have a gig on the 30th, the 30th. I have a show on the 30th. Yeah, but we have a group gig on the 30th. Yeah, uh, well, I got to get, well, ours is 500 bucks. He goes, mine pays 600. All right, well, I guess you have a gig. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You that can't was split bad. it for, that was it right there. And then That's we got bad. Donnie Bizarro. This, remember Donnie Bizarro? I loved it. He was funny. Yeah, he was funny. Fucking crazy kid. Where's Del Benny? What happened to him? Don't know. I think, I think uh, drugs. Oh, no. I don't know, but he might be fine now. That was years ago. He, he kind of left. He was like a good friend of mine. Aldo Benny is in Australia. Doing comedy? Doing comedy. His wife is from Australia. Oh, okay. Family out there. That's nice. And he was in. Ah, you fuck. I just got a shock through my foot. Yeah, did you get a nice shooter? Did you ever get one of those? Of course. I get them all the time. What is that? Bill, I, Bob, I get shooters. What's a shooter? A fucking pain through your ankle like you just got. But what is that? It might be cancer. It's a sign of cancer. You're kidding. Dude, come on, dude. <laughs> no, it's nothing. It's a fucking, it's a cramp. It's a fucking, you know. Yeah, Aldo Benny moved out there. He had two He had two kids here. I love how concerned you were. Yeah. And then you just talked to Joe, and he talked you right off the ledge. That's nothing. <laughs> nothing. Well, if he doesn't it's get it. It's just a shooting electrical pain. Well, he's such a, you know, physical specimen over there. If it's Joe's telling you it's nothing. Well, I don't think I look bad. What? What did you say? Um... <laughs> I know what you're doing, Joe. You're going to take it seriously, so I look like a bully here. I'm not doing it. Uh, you're a bully, Bill. Who are we kidding here? You're a bully. I'm not a bully, Joe. Oh, no, no, no. It's no. just an, it's an, it's a you can't tell some... way of asking for a hug. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't call somebody a bully who just said, I don't want to do that. 
Yeah, what's that? You can't call him a but he goes, dude, I don't want to do that because he this can what you're do to whatever do. he wants. <laughs> and it is so brave of I him want you to, respect to say my, how what he's feeling please right respect now. Respect my gender, please. And we don't need a white male thing, another white male sort of <laughs> I'm a fucking... minority. Please respect that. Please. What are you? Are you minority or are you Italian? Yesterday uh, with the I feel Verzi, you're Italian. Today, what are you? Yeah, you call I... him Joey Isis. Yeah, yeah it's, <laughs> it's called I do what I need to do to get clicks. Oh, <laughs> God. Likes. Fucking click the Rosa. <laughs> I was, for last night, I was Italian. We Why? were drinking fucking free grappa in an Italian uh, restaurant. What is grappa? About, it's a grape liqueur from Italy. About to go see the Irishman. Yeah. It was so funny, dude. We're talking to the doorman at the hotel where the screening was. Yeah. And we were we got there really early because we thought it was going to fill up. Yeah. And we go, listen, man, we're, we got here real early. We're the first people here. We're starving. We want to go next door and get some food. Can you please hold our place in line? And the guy goes, you know what? Anybody shows up, I'll go. Or he goes, I'll tell him you were here. If there's somebody ahead of you. We go, dude, thank you. And I go, and we start to walk. And I go, you know what? Matter of fact, and as I'm saying this, Verzi's already got his wallet out, handing the guy a 20. Yeah. And then I try to give him a second 20. The guy goes, no, 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 20, that, thank you. And he took care of us. And then we turned to go to the restaurant. I turned to her and I go, I go, this night is already off to an Italian start. <laughs> <laughs> and then we went in. We had two glasses of vino, <laughs> fucking lamb chops and veal. Oh, shit. The guy gave us a complimentary shot of grappa why? at the end. What do you mean, why? Because he slipped him a 20. Really? Oh, the guy at the The tip. restaurant. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bobby, when you tip people and you treat them right, you're amazing. Buddy, I'm a big tipper. Open. I'm a huge tipper. You're, I tip I when know, I go it's to... It's kind of funny to me that you didn't understand the I whole thought trajectory was, I thought story. he was... I thought he was... Because he was leaving the... No, because I, I thought you said, get me a drink. I didn't know what you said. What did you, you say? Oh, I thought you said. I, I thought you said, get me a drink. <laughs> hey, hey, give, give, give us a drink. <laughs> give us a drink. No, I thought you said, get me a drink, Spider. I, listen. No, I thought he said the guy at the door... Got him. You went to another restaurant. We went next door to an Italian Dude. restaurant. Yeah, I that got buddy, you. I got you. By the way, yeah? we need to go to. It's one of the best Italian restaurants I've ever been to. We, the three of us should go. Go sometime. get the fuck out of <laughs> here. Yeah, it's going to Fungu. I tip the hotel They got people. a meatball. How much do you tip at hotels? <laughs> Where? You tip at the hotel? Yeah, but like what part of the hotel? I tip when I check in. I give the person behind the desk a 20. Well, how much do you tip? Why do you tip 20 at bucks desk? at the front? I do 21. <laughs> no, you don't. You can't do it. It's an insult. <laughs> That's Why an insult. You, One dollar extra is an insult. Do you know what I, I, I watched, was watching The Price is Right this morning when I was getting ready to go, which is another thing, great thing about being a comedian. And uh, there's every show, there's the fucking fat, overexcited chick who bids One dollar and just automatically thinks she's going to win. <laughs> it's my favorite moment on the show. One dollar! <laughs> <laughs> it worked out today, but there's nothing I like better when somebody goes One dollar. Actual retail price is $799. This chick over here won, you dumb bitch. It wasn't one dollar. I don't know why. Because they always think like they crack the code. One dollar. And they turn around the crowd. Ah! Did you see that Price is Right documentary? I don't know what it is, but I know it's less than what you guys said. Ah! Did you see the Price is Right That's documentary? That's so funny. You're breaking down the whole... The, all the years I've watched the show, oh, fucking, Drew, and uh, Drew Carey is my favorite oh. for other reasons. Like you know, how Bob Barker would always do that thing where he, if if you were doing something dumb, yeah, he'd be like, "Now wait a minute, Bob. Let's let's think uh, yeah. about what what we're doing here." He would drag him into that. This fucking guy spun the wheel one time, and he got like like eighty cents. He's like, "What do you want to do?" He goes, "I'm going to spin it again." He was a spin again on a fucking 70 or 80. Now, Bob Barker would have been like, now, wait a minute. Let's see what we're doing here. Yeah. I don't know. And everybody would laugh. He would go, oh, okay, I'm not going to go. And he just goes, all right, spin it again. And the guy <laughs> spin it. He got like fucking $6. <laughs> and he goes, ah, that's, he went over. It just sent him off. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there like, how many shows are they taping today? You can literally hear this guy's town car running in the background. <laughs> all right, get the fuck out of here. Who's next? Not saying he's bad. I, I don't want to shit on the guy. But I just... I was in Cleveland when I saw that. I was crying, laughing. Yeah. The guy honestly got like a dollar sixty. I've never seen a number that high spinning the fucking wheel. <laughs> I, I did see that documentary too. Where the guy does the price yeah. documents. Yeah. It's fucking incredible. I'll Great. tell you, Drew everything. doesn't look too good in that documentary. They Why? fucked him over in that documentary. What are you talking about? Why does he look uh, good? Because they told him that this guy was cheating. No, no, no. That's not the part that makes him look bad. Yes, it is. Well, the part Don't that makes him, you argue with you. The part that makes him look bad is that he came in after Barker and did an overhaul of the entire fucking crew. And then, and then he felt like they were trying to get revenge because they fired this like 40-year produ producer. And I was like, you know, dude, I get bringing your people in. Maybe you show a little, show a little respect. Dude, that's not his call. 
I mean, I'm not saying it's no, his call. No, it's never. The, the I'm entertainer just, saying just walk in. They don't know what the fuck's I'm going on. I'm not shitting on the guy. I'm just saying it didn't look great. That's all. I'm what saying. are you going to do? Keep Bob Barker's girls around? No, 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 not the girls. There was a, there was a, there was a lifetime producer there, who was, who was the show. And he says in that documentary, he goes, I really wanted to stay around because I was so involved with it, whatever. And he goes, but they didn't want to keep me on, and that's okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, and that yeah. always happens. Uh, it's like it the, when, when you get the new head of the yeah. network, they got to fucking yeah. kill off all the shows that yeah. were maybe going to do I'm not saying it doesn't well. happen. I'm saying it Everything sucks. comes to that's an end. Yeah. I wish sex and well, drugs went eight seasons. I thought you were shitting on him for doing it. I feel like he was in a position where he could have said, let's keep this guy around. Joe, you're, you're making a lot of assumptions here. You know what I mean? Well, that's the way it looks in the documentary. That's you, the, I'll put it that when way. You was, when you well, were, so maybe I'm right. I'll, I'll take maybe that. I'm, wait, maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. What, 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 what do, do I, I know? know? What do I know? Hey, Joe, Joe, when you assume, you make, you make an ass out of you and me. Bob. Is Why are you right? wearing Clark Kent glasses? Is it my glasses? I have to wear fucking Those glasses aren't. now. That is, uh, I created a show, Yeah, and it's in its ninth season. Yeah. That is, I just did a set in the East Village with a newspaper on the stool. <laughs> you know? I don't have a newspaper. Who has a newspaper? Pointing to it. People. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the problem. Hey, did you watch that clip I sent? <laughs> I, I <laughs> <laughs> you want this? Is why we're where we're yeah. at. Yeah, you're it's up all there. in here, folks. It's all in here. <laughs> you open your eyes, you can see it. You're pacing like Letty Bruce, just reading the fucking. Yeah, hey, you read it. You read it. Sorry, there's no jokes, people. Maybe it's not fucking funny. You know? <laughs> and then do this. <laughs> Did you watch that Rip Taylor uh, clip I sent uh, you? I tried to watch it and it wouldn't play, and then I uh. forgot to go back to it. What what happens in the clip? Oh, it's just awesome. it's David Letterman live in Vegas. And he brings Rip Taylor. He walks in from the crowd. He's throwing all the confetti. He has like this canary yellow shag jacket on. <laughs> Coming in. He's got the sticks. Dude, the you just got, you got to see it in the end. What he ends with. Oh, I'm going to bring it up oh, right no, here. He's going to bring it up right Is here. Is that it right here? Showbiz, folks. Which one? Uh, which one? The first one? Second Bill? one. Uh, the Letterman one. Right I there. think it's yeah, the first that's one. It, right there. Yeah. That's it, right? Yeah. Go, oh. go with the shortest one to just get to it. Um, there you go. Well, not the very end where the yeah, buildings the very are. End. No, the, no, uh, yeah, go to the beginning because he just brings them right up. There you go. Right, take the. Go back when he announces him, Michael. Right there. I clicked the thing. Yeah, Letterman looks great here. Look at that. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rip Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a chicken suit or, or a fur coat? I'm really asking. <laughs> These people are all in their 70s now. I can't believe he was only 82 when he died, or 84. I thought he was way older than that. Can you imagine the fucking union workers looking at this act? Dude, uh. the fucking bag has still got confetti spilling out of it. How much fucking confetti was in that thing? Where's the toupee? He checks his toupee. Well, you got the job. Hello, I got money for gambling. Had to use that damn joke, too. Ah. You think this coat's a little busy? <laughs> like Liberace threw up on the damn thing. Anyway, good evening. Oh, boy. Please laugh, folks. I just had my damn tubes tied this evening. Oh, no. Yeah. I didn't know this was what This is before oh, Carrot This is great. This is great. I laughed when you came in, Chief. <laughs> 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 They're blind on that side, Jesus. <laughs> Hope a dog in heat falls in love with your shin. That'll wake you up. <laughs> Look at this, the odd couple. <laughs> I Hope a dog is. Hello? He has to save every joke. Okay. I love this. People sitting up, Jesus. They keep they saying keep Jesus Christ, they keep beeping it. <laughs> you can say glove. Jesus, but not Michael Christ. Jackson. I'm using his shampoo, head and smolders. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Look at the timing, how he pulls that glove off. You see this? It's a shoehorn. <laughs> it's a shoehorn. <laughs> Folks, I don't dance. This is it, you see. <laughs> Put on the morgue and toe tag yourselves. Jesus. <laughs> 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 This is I, I know it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Pantyhose. <laughs> Pantyhose. 
14 bucks for that piece of crap, too. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. I got a tinkle. <laughs> the hell is this is this? Uh -huh. Blazing saddles. Oh, is that a shit stained? Oh, I don't get burnt. that joke. It's burnt. It's burnt oh. underwear. Now, okay. Burnt underwear. Yeah, but it was skid marks. I got money to gamble. I'm going to smack him in a minute. <laughs> Spring chicken. What? Spring chicken. Folks, I heard Ors what's the name? Oh, Oral Roberts almost died. The check bounced. I fucked up a joke. You hear it? What's that mean, Oral Roberts? I don't get that. Wasn't, wasn't he one of those evangelist guys? Oh, this, oh. This, I thought he was like a dead cups and idiot. Oh, my God. This is getting bad. You should open with that yeah, one. It's getting applause break. I know what you're saying. I know yeah. what you're This lady here, I found these in the hall. She here, miss. Let miss. Kino, miss. What does it say? I noticed the ring. My mother in law died, left me $12,000 to get her a stone. <laughs> <laughs> she would have loved this. My mother in law. Oh, they committed to it back out. then, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, they really did. Thank you very much. Here's the last joke. Now, okay, just a second. Here's a booby trap. <laughs> He's got a lot of broad bits. Oh my God! Yeah, because he's wearing them. <laughs> listen, listen to what he says in the end. That's my favorite thing. More confetti. Thanks for being thank on the you, show. Thank you very much. You're a very busy man. Spent a lot of your time writing old material. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got money to handle with it. Well, thank you very much. What, uh, what's, what's new? What's coming Still up for you? Still Sugar Babies, Atlantic City at Harris. I had 10 weeks with Carol Lawrence. When did that begin? Uh, the end of June. Right. Civic Light Opera, Long Beach. And I got Rips Rugs, Tailor Made. I'm no, just doing a lot of things. Really? The actual wigs you're selling? Didn't you know it? The man is bald, Dave. Oh, no, I would never. You first, lady. You take it off. <laughs> Rip Taylor, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. Listen, listen to what he says here. Show business. Show business. Show business. Holy shit. Dude, he used that. I got money to gamble. He, three, three times. times. Three times. Yeah. Gee, and he tags every joke with Jesus Christ, and they got to keep beeping it out. That's because he's nervous. <laughs> or for some reason, they, they have Jesus. He wasn't nervous, dude. He's done that a million times. You don't think he was bombing? You don't think he was going, Jesus Christ? He was. No. Some of those jokes. No, his joke is his, the whole thing is that he's bombing. Really? And it's all about the saves. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know. Carson had that funny story about the comic that always bombed and had, but like really would bomb. And had saver lines built in after every joke because he was so used to bombing. And he goes, and then one night we saw him finally kill, but he was still doing the saver lines because it was just part of it. <laughs> and he's going, it's literally like an applause break. And he's going, what is this, a fucking oil painting? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ah, that's fucked up. Yeah, it's great. God damn it, man. That was God, it looked so Rick fun Taylor. back then. Yeah, it looked real. Not that it's not fun now, but that really looks like. Yeah, but if I wound up doing that, you guys give me a lot of shit. That was my act. If I came out, hello. Well, now if you I'm actually really breaking down the way he do it. He some of them he would say it, and they'd say it higher afterwards. Whatever you be, that's a booby trap. Booby trap. <laughs> it's the second. That's the second. Like nobody laughs. It's a booby trap. Bad joke when he when he does that stupid high pitch yell. Yeah. Or that little laugh he did. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's just like what the fuck am I watching? You're just watching a spectacle. But it's part of his wig wobbling too. Yeah. I know he used to like lift it up and shit. <laughs> Didn't he have the little wands he used to shoot out sparkles, like little no, they sticks? Were confetti wands, yeah. Confetti wands, yeah. Yeah, he would throw. Did he invent those? No, no, right? No, or did he? It was Chinese people. <laughs> what? <laughs> they got it downtown. <laughs> they got it downtown. Oh, yeah. um, you know, I, it's funny. I wanted to talk about this. Burr, your special's out. I want to make sure people know about it. I'm sure everybody does. I mean, dude, fucking. Uh, it was. Chopez. Chopez. Paper Tiger. One of the best visual specials I've ever seen. Mike Binder. Visually. And, uh, I mean, you fucking annihilated from the front to the back. Joe DeRosa. He wrote it all. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote it. I coached it. Fucking I great. I sat Bill down about six months ago. I said, do you want to do a special or you want to stop fucking around? Yeah. Let me tell you, he though. Said, he said, Joe, I'm ready to do it for real. You get in business with me. I'm going to need you like dough <laughs> every night. 
You got a shit lightning crap thunder, Bill. <laughs> Remember the rehearsals, but, Bill? You'd start a bit again. Yeah, yeah you mean the back. <laughs> Don't dance. <laughs> 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 but it, it came out after Chappelle's, two weeks after Chappelle's. Okay, Chappelle's blew up, bang. A lot of, you know, every, all the stuff, the controversy with the... I think it came out two weeks after probably about 40 specials, the way they put them out nowadays. Well, I, well, two weeks after one special that anybody gave a fuck about, and your special came out. I just wanted, were you nervous about that? Or did you give a fuck about when it was coming out, even though it was like two weeks? Uh, Usually yeah. they wait a no, little. That's that's what you got to do now. You put out a special. You've done nothing wrong. You went out and did your job. And then I was like, is this, you know, is it my turn for this silliness to happen? But uh, fortunately it wasn't. But I, I don't know. I, my vibe is different. I, I, I think that, uh, um, I don't know. My, my special was mostly about me being an idiot and my temper and, and how I don't want to pass that on to my kid was was what it was mainly about. But uh, so it was all about you. I mean, I yeah. watched your special, dude. It was fucking personal. And then, yeah. I mean, they, they came out with a lot of good specials, man. I just saw Gary Gullman's. Mm -hmm. It was, was fucking Gary? great. I don't it, have HBO. It was though. different. It was, it, was, it, was, it was maybe 80 percent stand up, 20 percent doc or maybe I have 75 percent, 25 percent. But they actually pulled it off. The, the amount of doc that they showed, they would cut back to, and the doc part was funny, and it was emotional I when did, it needed all, to be. All I saw, I didn't know that it was that. I just, I saw a clip of it made me laugh. It's, yeah, but you know, it's Gary doing his jokes, but sure. it's all, I mean, you, the wonderful thing about Gary's special is that. Did you, you just say the. What? The wonderful thing? No, the one thing. Oh, okay. I'll say the wonderful thing. Don't. I, I want to hear you say it. The yeah. wonderful thing about Gary's special. I like special, how you're softening up in your old age. I am. You're getting tender. I'm getting a little you, soft. I yep. saw Joe the other night, and he was spellbounding. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> what, I can't say fucking wonderful? I like that you said it. No, you didn't, because you set me up to say it again. Listen to me. I'm fucking... You're like gotta, a, I'm wearing headphones. You're like a tough piece of veal. What the and fuck is that? And life has pounded you tender. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, and I like it. What are you talking about? I like it. I am tender. I'm a little more tender than I used to be. That's what I'm saying. You're getting tender the older you get. I cried at the movies with Max, and he put his hands over my eyes. He goes, Dad, don't watch the rest of this movie. Wow. That is fucking <laughs> Why? What were you adorable. Watching? It was the movie Wonder Wheel, I think it is. The it's, Woody Allen movie? No, the cartoon, the animation, I think it is. But it's fucking sad as shit. And the first, this is fucked up. Cartoons or animations used to be about love stories and hopes and dreams. In the first 10 minutes, the mom gets cancer and has to go oh, away. They've always been like that. Has to go away. They've always been like that. What the fuck? Happy birthday, mommy. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to <laughs> you. <Yeah, mom. laughs> Happy birthday, <laughs> dear Bobby. <laughs> Happy birthday to you! Oh my God, this is the greatest podcast ever! A lot of surprises today. Joe's a pizza pie. Oh, let's put it all together. Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> look, at, Quinn, look at Quinn. He's open up. That's my pizza. I'm not, we'll have it in a little while, Quinn. We'll have it in a little while. No, no, we'll, we'll, we'll have it right now. Well, I'm kidding with him. That's why. Oh, oh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Open bit. it up. Open it up. We have. Yes, he did a beautiful oh, card. Oh my god. It's beautiful. Oh my god. Um, oh my god. Those cookies are nuts. Mike, you want pepperoni? You want, this is crazy. We're not supposed to be eating the studio, Liz. It's your birthday. Don't fucking tell anyone. All right, I won't is fucking it, tell anyone. No, they don't. No, they haven't chosen. It stinks. Yeah. Did you I, should, I, should, I, should, I shouldn't say that on there. Uh, I heard that. <laughs> oh, I think you said DeRosa. No. Because he goes, I got a Joe and it stinks. And I thought you said DeRosa. And we watch it live. <laughs> we are still broadcasting. <laughs> <laughs> Colin Quinn and Liz came up. Brought Joe's pizza for my birthday and, and cookies. Birthday Did you see what Billy gave me? Look what Billy yeah. gave me. Yes, thank you. He gave me like a, a top of the line pedal for my drum kit. He's going to be doing his own rim shots. 
Oh, <laughs> here you go, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is Joe's Pizza, the best pizza in the world. The best. Fresh yeah, Joe. So I know you think some stupid place in Philly is better. No, no, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't, Colin. And there's no need for that kind of approach. Yeah, sit here. right there, Colin. Sit down at the mic. <laughs> Very hostile. We're all friends in here. Yeah, we're just talking about how I've lightened up in the years. I'm not as much of a fucking piece of shit, right, Joe? Yes. Say it. Right, right, Mike? Right, Joe? Everybody say what a good guy Bobby is. It's his birthday. What are you taking, two fucking slices? <laughs> you don't even know you're going to... No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Joe. Take two of you. So. The what? Joe goes, just an asshole. Joe goes, there's no need for that guy. I got it. Approach. Two words. Podcasting in pizza, dude. Oh, dude, it's a podcast. <laughs> oh, my God. This We're is... going to do a reboot. A reboot, dude. <laughs> We're eating pizza. Colin Quinn is here. Right. The worst thing ever to hear somebody eating on the microphone. Is it bad? It's bad. Like, yeah, you know, you the worst out. thing is sucking a candy. Do you ever suck a, uh, like a, a velament? On stage? No, I have not, Bob. What did you... <laughs> Classic Jerry Lewis. What, a velament? The lozenge in the mouth, you know, swirl it all around on the mic. Um, Wait, oh. but what was the animated movie that you thought was, not, it's not Wonder Wheel? Wonder what um, animated movie? Uh, Wonder World animation. Delicious. Delicious. Uh, Joe's Pizza is nuts. Animated movie where mom gets yeah right there Wonder Park. Sorry. Okay. Wonder Park. So I, the mom gets cancer. First ten minutes, I'm with Max. We get up popcorn. We're sitting down. They open up. The, I mean, the mom. The kids creating all this stuff with the mom. It's the greatest the family. The kid. The mom. The mom. And then uh, all of a sudden, the mom gets sick, and she's got to go away to cancer therapy, and the kid has no mom. So this big Wonder Park that they're building, she stops doing because her mom's gonna fucking die. She's with the dad. She stops having fun. I'm and I'm fucking crying my eyes out. You're about to. Cry. Are you about to I'm cry right now? And then Max, go- Bob, don't ever watch Bambi. <laughs> <laughs> this is way fucking worse than Bambi. Why? Because they're deer. It, it's a mom. The mom's gonna die. The mom does die. Wait, does now does the mom die? I'm yeah, gonna but pull that's Oprah a- here. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna pull this cry out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what happens, Bob? Take me through the mother's death. Like, Colin's, you- like, Colin's just looking at me very concerned just so we can eat pizza and not talk. <laughs> While Bob, we're talking, so he's like, going to get more slices. Does the mom die? No, no, the mom doesn't die, but it's sad when she comes back, too. I cried again at the end, and he, Max was How like... How did it make you feel? Like, what did it remind you of in your own life? It might... <laughs> <laughs> It made me. It made me sad because you think about your wife. I mean, God forbid something happens to my wife. <sighs> you think about life. Is she trying to open a theme park? I think she's going to be all right. Mm-mm. Because if John, God forbid, are you choked up or you just have too much pizza? I got too much mouth? pizza in my mouth. <laughs> What's the you same? Choked up literally. I sound. <laughs> <laughs> I watched. Why? Up what with do you? My, you don't cry when you watch movies. I watched. You up, definitely fucking. I cried. watched Up with my parents. I'll tell you two. You movies cried it up, dude. At the beginning, when the wife dies. Yeah, I walked in the other. I. This is what I've done with my parents on several occasions. I did it at Grumpy Old Men too. You cried at Grumpy Old Men. Yeah, dude, it's heartbreaking when when Lemon's in the hospital at the end and they hate each other the whole movie and then Mathout goes in to visit Lemon. Because he's like, fuck, this is serious. And they go, are you family or friend? And he doesn't know what to say. And then he goes, friend. And he starts crying. Yeah, it's brutal. But I do this when I'm with my folks. I get up and I pretend I got to get water. And I go in the kitchen and cry quietly. <laughs> <laughs> and then I walk back because I'm embarrassed. I'm crying just thinking of you watching Grumpy Old Men 2 with your parents. <laughs> <laughs> it was Grumpy Old Men 1. 2 oh. never entered the picture. I thought... Which was the one Kevin Pollack was in? He's in both of them. Oh. He's in both of them. He'll tell you. The, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I don't like, I don't like Colin looks like Jack Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> I cried. I cried. I can't help it. It just comes out. I felt. You're making such a mess with this. I felt here. bad, but, you know, because Max, was, Max wasn't crying. He was covered yeah, in. Yeah, no, it's brutal, dude. Yeah. I cry She's got a lot. habit always makes me cry. <laughs> What? Oh, she's got a habit. Just always makes it. You don't. Bird doesn't cry at movies, do you? Huh? Do no. I cry at movies? No. 
Burke cries at Bruins games. <laughs> <laughs> right after that fucking game seven. <laughs> um, Burke no, you know what happens? is it, it gets real sad, and then my wife starts crying, and then I laugh at her, and then she punches me. That's what happens. Dysfunctional. Are you eating just the cheese off the pizza? Yeah. Uh, don't worry, Bobby's cool. Bobby's cool. Bobby's cool. Are you right fucking now. eating just the cheese off the pizza? You hear this? Are you eating? Manager of comedy show talks. Whoa. What'd you say? <laughs> what the fuck you were well, doing? maybe How we you maybe we do need to get pizza? Guy Branham back up here. How are you eating pizza? <laughs> like a bitch. I'm on a keto diet and I can only eat meat and cheese. Well, don't have bread. fucking pizza then. Have yeah, some regular just cheese. Just slice. wasted a slice. That's Who Joe's pizza. Oh, that's why you got slices. upset when I said you were mushy. You're on a diet. I'm sorry. Yeah. You look great, Joe. Oh, fuck off, Burr. Oh, the flack <laughs> is real slimming. <laughs> it's slimming. You look good. <laughs> the, uh, is that part of the keto diet, huh? Half just, a bottle of you, fucking you, rum? You, you can have rum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eat the fucking pizza. I you can't have, have the bread. I can't have it. I can't have it. What'd you I have yesterday? Have Foster Brooks. I eat cheese. It's a, it's a fat <laughs> diet. You can't have bread. We all know what the goddamn diet is, by the way. You don't have to tell us. Same as fucking I can't. Goddamn caveman, everything else. Oh my god. Keto, they just changed the name. Are you wearing a Europe t shirt of the band Europe? No, it's uh, probably Alice Cooper. Oh, no, it's actually Cooper. Is that the Connors? Is that the Connors? Is that the Connors? Here's the worst one. And this other shirt, it said New York Dolls. I was like, yeah, because New York Dolls cool. I walk in, boss, I have the same shirt. And he shows me a picture of him in oh. the shirt. Yeah. The Voss got it. too much in common. You Voss can't got buy those shirt, like those mall rock shirts. Voss, because a dummy like Voss will find them. I know. He's never even heard the band. You know what I mean? Voss, at, Voss was at the concert they, when they saw the original shirt. Wow, it was way too much. Wow. I tried to get it out twice, but you talked over it. <laughs> you fucked me on that one, DeRosa. You know what? In the right place. If you had headphones on, you would have fucking heard me. I feel a little attacked and unsafe right now. <laughs> Why? Because you know. We didn't even give you a birthday laugh on that one, Bob. <laughs> 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 that pisses me Delicious. off. Well, that makes me good. fucking pissed. Good. <laughs> I'm glad it's bothering you. It's about time I found out to get under your skin. I'm gonna do this every night at the club. <laughs> what? Order pizza and fucking eat the cheese off the top? Yeah. Liz, like a, stop. What you family? I gotta go meet Anthony. Oh, you're early? Then you get you should drink more out of the bottle. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. you know, you guys gonna be in the same spot when you show up. Listen. Shots uh, fired. <laughs> Oh, shots fired. Uh, oh, my God. This is fucking delicious. Delicious. You guys tried pizza in L.A.? Mush, I tell you, it's not any? as good. <laughs> oh, I just tooted. Mush. Yep. You have pizza? Come on. Cheese or pep? My favorite thing to do up there is watch Mike pull up a video and then bo- the back that? and forth between Bobby and him on where to start the video. Right. Bobby will go, no, dude, we don't need to watch the whole fucking thing. So he goes <laughs> in the middle and he goes, Dude, back it up. Take it to the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's over Wait, there having a fucking you, panic attack. First of all, you're the one who yelled at him. I didn't yell at him. I did not yell he at him. He went to the end. You went not to the end. Well, because that was, You did that, not me. You, in, my you defense, the, in my defense, Mike, you, that was fucking stupid when you did that. Say, say you, <laughs> it's in you, too. You're the same guy, DeRosa. It was a little stupid when he did that. <laughs> yeah, you go, we don't need the whole thing. He literally goes to the last 10 seconds. Of Rip Taylor saying good night. I'm honored to be here with all three creators of Cheat. Thank you. Oh, that's true. Oh, wow. Way we, back. I still have that book. We haven't all you been do? together yeah. since that. Yeah, we have. In the same room. Not not the talking person. together. And I was haven't in we? it, too. No, so was we Bobby. haven't. Yeah. What? So was Voss. Voss was in it, too? Voss yeah. was the annoying doorman. That's yeah, you, right, were, you, were the, uh, you were the delivery, delivery guy. guy. Keith, is Keith, Rachel Feinstein's in it. Her voice is in it. And yeah, no, Keith wasn't in it. We we had good actors. Yeah, he is. <laughs> but we also had a no blacks policy. <laughs> we want to get into Tribeca Film Festival. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, know, you know Italians run this festival. Don't don't put any blacks. In. Oh, Joe. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Joe, maybe you need to eat a little dough. Yeah, have a little <laughs> dough. Making you a little crabby. I can't believe that's <laughs> fucking sacrilegious that you won't eat that. It pisses me off. Know. You shouldn't have taken it then. What are you talking about? You also took two What is the difference if I ate the bread or not? What? I ate it. It's, it's these the were my slices. Pizza. Well, there's it all these all people together. here that are going to eat the pizza. These were my slices, and what? I did what I wanted to do with my slices. Because it's a Joe's slice. It's not just a regular slice. Okay? If I went fucking somewhere 
uh, to a steakhouse. Stop of Delph- talking like Al Pacino and scent of a woman. If please. I went to a steakhouse, I, dreamt, I that went to a steakhouse. I dreamt that he slices it four dicks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're, you're crazy. <laughs> Listen, somebody shows up with rage, you eat the fucking slice. By the way, I did Irishman. Oof. No, don't fucking segue. I'm not going to say anything, but it was fucking amazing. That's it. That's yeah. all I'm going to say. Yeah, just like the Joker. Yeah. Is that too fucking long, though? I haven't seen. No, I I could not. Did you just say a, a how movie? It didn't feel. Trust me, because I was worried about that. It felt. I just. I never once was like, "This is long." But the guy's a liar. I read his book. Half the oh. shit in there, he couldn't have possibly done. Talk keep that shit out of it, to be honest. Okay. Talk on the mic. The writer talked about that. Oh, did he? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pro. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see him? <laughs> he really went in like it was a testimony. Excuse me. I gotta go. I have an important show to get ready. All right, buddy. I love you. Love you. Are Happy you gonna birthday. come back? Mm-hmm. Bobby, you coming around the corner? Are you running yeah, your new hour? Bye. Thank you, Colin. Are you running your new hour? Yes. What's this one about? The history of hats? What, what are you what are you covering this time? <laughs> It all started out in Danbury, Connecticut. It's the alcohol calling. It's not Joe. <laughs> Jesus the history of hats. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, folks, automobiles are funny. <laughs> <sighs> Shit. That was good. I love you. Um, you want to do a spot? You want to do a spot? I'm supposed to meet someone for dinner. What time? Eight. Eight o'clock? Where? I don't know. We're going to wrap this up. Hey, what's that? Seven? All right, I'll stop over. Is that a scarf? That's a, all right. Um, this isn't a podcast anymore. This is just people listening to people eat. This is yeah, well, that no, was pretty funny. It was pretty funny they came up. We got a couple great. zingers in there. That was awesome. They're fine. This, you know, this, is a, this is a special event, dude. You know, you're in town. You're, we haven't been together, to, all three of us, in the same room since then. How does that make you feel, Bob? It makes me feel good, Joe. I miss you guys. I want you to start. I fucking so miss bad. you fucking so bad. It is nice being in the room together. It is. We yeah. man, listen. It we was are... like when the police got back together. <laughs> Who's the drummer? You're the drummer, right? Huh? Are, you, are you staying or you're the drummer? Who am I? Yeah. Obviously uh, Burr's no, staying. We, no, <laughs> and you and me are the other two going, when do you want to You wanna do you wanna get a new singer? And my kid is uh <laughs> nah, my kid's in soccer. My kid's in soccer right now. I'm going to go see some of his games this yeah. summer. You know, I don't really feel like touring. I hear a guy from Warren's available. You want to yeah. see if he wants to run around with us? You know what? Uh, <laughs> I just, I just, uh, I took horseback riding classes. This thing's really yeah. getting a bad rap in this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's funny, man. Yeah. What are you going to do? Get a Reese's and just take the fucking chocolate off? I'm just going to lick the wrapper. No. Um, what? Joe, it's a shame we never did another thing. What do you mean? You know what? It's to register your voice. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it's a shame that we know that. This is why we're not in the same room together. It's <laughs> fair enough, <laughs> Shane. Uh, no, it's a shame we never. We... <laughs> He's right. When, it's right. when you're right, you're right. It's a shame. Yes. We never did another thing. I felt like we could have made another cool little flick. But uh, what was the show that we? Given that we made almost... a great fuck. That film was funny. Yeah. The film was great. And given that we almost murdered each other doing it yeah. and came out the other side friends, that's That only great. happened really afterwards when they tried to turn it into a TV show. Yeah. Oh, it's an old show business tale. <laughs> <laughs> Three friends, wide-eyed. <laughs> and bushy-tailed. Ah, I'm, you know what's funny is it never changes. I'm going through that right now with something else. Same really? fucking shit. Same fu- hey, want to do this? Yeah, let's do that. And then they get in there. Oh, let's fucking do this. Yeah. And everybody fucking yelling it was a, at each other. Just, it's terrible. It was, I tell you what, remember the pitch meeting we went? Where Joe got sick, yeah. and me and Burr, we had to go in without him, but he was on the phone to sell it. Yeah, I did be on speakerphone for the pitch. Remember? Good? But yeah, they're they great. Have one. Are, are they scones or cookies? Are, is your daughter in town? Is your fam in town? Is your fam with you? Oh, you want to take some of that? With you? Take that with your kid? <coughs> What's that? They're depressed. They're depressed. When I go to I met my wife here, so it's depressing to come back. <laughs> yeah, boy, jam, bam, bam. Uh, we we went into the room, but I remember we had. You just saw me sitting on a park bench by myself, eating his arms all over my face, yeah. crying on the controller. I come over. I go, "Where'd you get the cookies?" 
<laughs> get a fucking, I'd go get, heartless, I'd get a fucking age. gallon of milk and I'd fucking help you through it. Uh, stop eating the cheese in front of me. It's really gross. It's fucking disgusting. It's like a rat. Like a little rat. Dude, this is like a piece of lava rock. Look at this. Yeah, let me get that chocolate chip one hey, on the top there. I'm going to be on that keto diet if I fucking finish this thing. Yeah. No, but we went into the room. I remember we were at the airport, <laughs> Burr. Oh, my we're, God, is this delicious. We're at the airport. You don't want to talk about it? No, I want to get a new advertiser on my podcast. We're at the airport. <laughs> that works. That Joe. Really good. Yeah, I'm Joe, sorry. Yeah. We're at the airport, and you yeah. fucking, you look at me, you go, I don't, I don't feel good, man. And you started to shiver in line. Yeah. Remember that? And I, and I was like, it you. Was before that, you picked me up in a cab. We took a cab together. Yeah. It was when we lived next door to each other. Yeah, yeah. I hear a song. And you came, <laughs> you took a cab. You came and picked me you up. You started or, to shiver. You rang my bell at like cab. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Because we had to leave really early. Yeah, yeah. And I went downstairs and I go, bro, dude, something's wrong. I got the flu. I don't think I can go. You're like, dude, you got to go. I was like, you got to go. And I got on the plane and we, and then remember halfway through the flight, I was I got real sick in the bathroom. Yeah. The flight attendant <laughs> came yeah. up. Fucking yeah. hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. The flight attendant. Did glasses fall in that fucking oh, toilet? Dude, it was brutal. It, the flight <laughs> attendant. That's a, this is how sick I was, because you know they'd never do this. The flight attendant goes, come with me. She took me to first class. Oh, and yeah. And put me in that reclining seat, because she's like, dude, you're in really bad shape. Like, bad. I, feel, I feel bad for you're you. You're like, no, this is just how I look. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey, lady, leave my body come out of it. Come with me. <laughs> To the um, first place. Then we got to the hotel. We got to the hotel. And you we were, were done. We were supposed to share a room, and then you split yeah. and got your own room. And then you kept bringing me Gatorade. And yep. you were just like, I can't touch anything, but I'm going to bring you Gatorade. Yeah, I took and I should have fucking, in, in hindsight, stayed home, because I ended up just doing it on the phone anyway. Yeah, I know. But I remember the last night I was there, I hooked up with a chick. Oh, uh, while you were sick? I finally felt good enough to go out, and I went But to you the, still had it. I told her that. And she still went with you? I was like, listen, I'm really sick. Like, I don't know if you want to hook up. And she goes, I don't care. And we totally fucking. And that didn't tell. Uh, you, you didn't go, I should care that you don't fucking care. No. Uh, that doesn't bother no, you. What do I care? Wow. What do I care? She didn't care. Life's about taking chances, Bobby. And you're looking at a maverick over here. Yeah, suck that whole thing down. <laughs> you know Turn what you're going to regret on the deathbed? The ones you didn't bang. Yeah. <laughs> 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 A life of banging. That's the name. That'll be my name of my tell all at the end. The ones I didn't bang. Something. Some other. No? I thought you would think that was funny. Oh, yeah, what are you going to do? He's I eating a chocolate chip like cookie. <laughs> <laughs> I well, dropped out professionally the second all this shit came in. I apologize. Yeah, it's all right. Don't worry. We're going to wrap it up. Man. We did a nice hour of fucking funny stuff. It's good to see you too, man. Burr, I'm glad you're in town. I had such a good time. It was over his house in LA. What a fucking beautiful place. Smoking stoves, smoking, sticks. smoking bats. DeRosa is back in New York. I would love to hang out with both of you guys on the West Coast. I, why we hang What's out here? Deal, or the Joe? East Coast. Well, I'm basically living here, but I stole my place out there. Yeah. Is it a, a solo place? Places. Yeah, yeah. I keep two places. I got underwear over here. I got shirts over there. I got two places, you know? I got my record collection in L.A. where it deserves to be. Yeah. Yeah. And I got my g video games collection in New York. Well, that no, my video games are all in L.A. Oh, is it really? So what do you do when you're at your house? You have quite the collection. I follow you on Instagram. I do have quite the collection. And every you time don't. you go, I, I found these gems. It's always at least six of them. Yeah. Oh. I've been How lucky. How many video games you got? Yeah. Well, I got 36 systems. Jesus Christ. The games, I don't know. But I have, 30, I, I have 36 systems. And then, you know, you have 10 games for each, five games for each. And you, you know, play all of them? On which, oh, my God. It depends on what you're doing. You play all of them? All the systems? Yeah. Yeah. How old are you? At one time or another, but I mean, you know, part How of it old is are you? 42. Huh. Go ahead. Nope. Yeah, no, there's a mean thing. I can see it in your rotten eyes. You did. Stop. There's a mean thing rolling around there's over there. There's not a mean thing. I'm, I just said, how old you are? You said 42. I went, huh? What? Dude, I got a wife and kid. You got 36 there video you go. systems. There it is. There it is. <laughs> you are so obvious. <laughs> oh, wow, that bothered you. That bothered you that he had all the systems? No, I don't play. I haven't played Bobby? I haven't played Xbox you would, in 6 years. You would Since Max was born, I haven't played one fucking video Let's game except about, his little Bobby. things. Let's talk about how much you would stink at a poker table. Huh? I really am at bad at bluff. poker. <laughs> Terrible. You go, you go. No, I don't got nothing. 
I get I nervous just, too. Uh, I'm gonna put fifteen thousand in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrible at poker. You got a bad poker face. Terrible at poker. I would say the time Dane had a on the tour got us a private poker table. We all played poker together, uh, and he won and kept all the money. Well, that's what happens when you lose. <laughs> We're all like, I think hey, that's, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's all the money we have. Yeah, we? that's, yeah. Is there any way you could uh, I, I'm on your side maybe on slip, me a, slip me a 20 back? He really did teach me a hot lesson. Touch a lesson <laughs> about poker and friendship. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a blast. Uh, yeah? It was a blast. Yeah, I'm going to go meet uh, Kumia. Don't ever eat Chelsea. one of these all by yourself. I can't stop now that it's in there. Good you taking Lord. those with you? Now, you my take question is, real quick, before we sign off, is yeah. that a scone or a cookie? It's a cookie, no. you dumb dumb. Fuck your diet. Looks like a scone. Come over here and have a, have a fucking taste. Bill, how about I come over there and slap the fucking taste? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see you do it, Joe. <laughs> I'd love to see you do it. Let me oh, see Joe's boy. glasses go flying across the room. Good. Joe immediately <laughs> apologizing, backing up out of the room. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry, dude. I, was, I, I didn't felt know. you were disrespecting me. It's the tequila. Not in the face. Not in the face. <laughs> I got an audition tomorrow. <laughs> Do you? No. Oh. But that's what uh, actors used to do. I used to that's beat Joe the... when I was younger. I was an angrier man. We had a very toxic relationship. Yeah, we all did. The, uh, that's, what, uh, that's the famous story about Peter. Um, who's the famous? O'Toole? Yeah. Getting into the bar fight. With the other actor when he was in his thirties, yeah. and they were and they they were like "fuck you, fuck you," and they were they were squared off. They go, "All right, not, not in the face." I have an audition tomorrow, and they were both like, "Okay, I get it. I'm an actor too." Uh-huh. And then they just fucking did body blows. Time, Supposedly, who knows? You know, me and Dawn were fighting, and she grabbed my hand. She twisted my finger. And I went, "That's my mic hand," and she called me a pussy. She walked out of the room. As she should have. <laughs> I go, "That's my mic hand. Relax, she was pussy." She walked she out of the room. She twisted it to that point? She twisted my finger. Well, I, went, I pointed it at her. I went, listen, you, and she grabbed it. You did more than that. All right, there you go. And you know what? <laughs> <laughs> you did more than that. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you don't like a pointing of a finger. so I you don't, because yours, yours are too long. Creeps with you're kids. a double pointer. Can I'm we a double put this? Dude, we went to San Francisco <laughs> and came back to Seattle. <laughs> and these guys, yeah, you're like, you oh, yeah. should have guided yeah. fucking Jetson. So I do. And we flipped <laughs> it up and we flipped it. No, but it, it goes the same way. Yeah. <laughs> Get we, the we start, fuck out I started in Boston. So I moved yeah. to New York. <laughs> This guy takes me out to L.A. <laughs> no, you know, ask me, ask me a, is that restaurant really the best one you've ever been to? Yo, is that restaurant really the best one you've ever been to? Dude. I mean, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's you guys a classic. Are, you guys are fucking stupid. That stinks. You can't fucking. Dude, you fucking. You go in. You fucking get sausage. You flip it. You flip it. You flap it. You smack it up. Flip Creeps it. Rub it kids. down. Com. Oh, no! Tour starts in two weeks. <laughs> Reading, Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh. Dude, I know everybody at B&H, first name basis. Uh-huh. Dude, of you course go we in, have you flip it under the conveyor belt. Paper you Tiger right now on Netflix. One of the best specials I've oh ever seen. God. I need to puke behind. Unfucking believable. You got to check right it out. Now. And we got uh, Joe DeRosa uh, is at the stand. No, fuck off. Where are you? I am at the stand. But no, I got <laughs> actually shit. This week at Saturday, yeah, Saturday one show night. only, Poughkeepsie, laugh it up. One Great show. club. Yeah. Man. Love the club. Wrap it up. That's it. Yeah, I got wrap it up, guys. you motherfuckers. <laughs> seven. Uh, seven Tra- and you take- also, Bill Burr and I bringing Uninformed back Thank- very soon. Oh, that's great. Thank God. I love that show. He's bitching can about the please, camera, though. Can you please? I know, but we, we don't have a fucking date. Listen. Here it comes we, Uninformed when we let you know. It's coming. <laughs> I'm talking to Andrew. We're working out the video shit. It's coming. But we're it's coming back. Yeah. Like Uninformed's coming Taylor's. back in. Thank you. Do 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 do. <laughs> Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. I didn't do, 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 do. believe you guys all knew that. I thought that was gonna bomb. <laughs> I will see you guys we next hate time. To leave you, but we know. Next to Bill Murray must. is like a as a it's a fun like you know podcast. No 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 with the label out. The Make label your out. podcast yeah. about him, Bobby. Come on. Oh, that's all right. He was the one of the ridge. You he's were the, on this podcast. He's the original. Me and him did it together. Oh God! How you, quick did that blow up? We have uh, we we, might, do we have to do the episode where we had the big blowout that we never aired. Remember the one I never aired? We were going to sit down and go I made over. We a big it? blowout on uninformed. We never aired. We should I do broke that. My headphones. No, that aired. Yeah. What? What that is? Aired. Dude, what, I kicked them out of my house. What was the? What is the common denominator in both these podcast stories? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't kick me out of your house. It was me and Ted Alexandro. So you should be on the Cunto diet. Occupy Wall Street. <laughs> you you were not. You, you, the what? You should be on the Cunto diet. <laughs> 
Because you're a cunt. <laughs> All right, Good go to ahead. see you guys. Take Come care. Come on, Joe. Oh, stop it. it. What the fuck is it? Come on. Come on, Joe. I turned the bottle outside. That's what abusers say. <laughs> Baby, I love you still. <laughs> Come on, Joe. We're going to change. <laughs> Jay. Maybe it'll be different this Jay, time. I'm different. I don't do that. I got a wife and kid now. It's I cry at movies. Uh, listen, I told you, you know, you, you've tendered up and I enjoy it about you. Yeah, listen. Yes, we were at my house. Ted Alexander was on and you snapped at Ted. Well, he snapped at me, too. He didn't really snap. No, no, no. Be fair. He, <laughs> let's be fair. He didn't snap at you. <laughs> Ted was talking. and that, Ted was you, joking. You felt disrespected. I made the mistake of criticizing <laughs> Occupy Wall Street, forgetting mm. that Ted had handcuffed himself to a gate two days before. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, it, got, it got a little heat. And then I said something, was, and then he, he came well, he at me. He argued about that, too. He, was all, he hated that Occupy Wall Street. He, he argued with all his friends. He hated it. Yeah, he oh, hated it. I hated it. You hated those people. I, was, I found a lot of hypocrisy in it. That's all. There was I'm a lot. I'm saying Ted's a hypocrite. I'm just saying. Hey, oh, you started it itself. back up again, Joe, you know? Yeah, will you oh, get Ted on the line? I, uh, <laughs> well, Joey, I want to do that with you. Me and you go over that podcast. Please do. And we'll, come out we'll, to, we'll play it, me and you, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go over it and see who. You know what? I might have some apologizing to do. Who knows? Maybe you have a little apologizing to do. I never said I didn't. I, well, I didn't say. I, was, I wasn't saying I'm it was joking. you. I'm just joking. I'm joking. Fucking I'm just joking. Diet. I swear to God, I'm just joking. Right. The, uh, no, huh. yeah. I feel like when we both listen to it, we're going to be like, what will we do? Why did we get this It'd be mad? funny if we get into another fight. That would be would uh, honestly you're, you're be really perfect. Risking <laughs> you're, risking, you're risking that. Anyways, uh, Poughkeepsie, laugh it up. This Friday yeah. night. No, no, no. This Saturday. This Saturday 7 night. 7 p.m. show. That's it. One, One show. show only. You know why you're going to love that? You Justin can take the Silver's train. Justin opening for me. Take the train right up here. Yeah. And as you get off the train, it's right there. Silver's going to drive us, which is nice. Oh, all right. Whatever. Yeah. I mean, the train is better. I kind of tried to convince him, let's just take the train. Train he wants is to drive. so much better. Sit down. Right. Read a whip book. Flip it over. Flap it flip over. It, there. Flip it. The, it, 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 literally get off the yeah. train. Flap it back. They, they take your bags. <laughs> they put it in the bottom. I'll tell you. Remember, go up to Poughkeepsie. <laughs> you come back. Go to <laughs> Bill Biv DeVoe. Smack it up. Flip it. Rub it down. Oh, dude. I, uh, <laughs> Patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. <laughs> Go there right now, the uh, Live from the Shed chugga, episode. Chugga, 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 With me, with me, <laughs> with me and Burr is up Next there now. Stop, dude. Mike Calt is coming out soon. Dude, I just dude. put a special extra clip. Dude, with, I like the boxcar. Get an extra wind. Burr between the caught me slats. jerking off. It's up there now. Robert Kelly, patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. <laughs> I ride the quiet car, dude. Oh, no, no. They massage your feet. Please Subscribe, review. <laughs> Subscribe chugga, review. Chugga, chugga, chugga. Dude, dude. <laughs> dude, dude. Dude, <laughs> dude. You ever take the Amtrak up to Poughkeepsie? Subscribe Fuck you, review. Cocksucker, Spread the I'm word. the conductor. <laughs> <laughs> when they stop and change engines, I go fly fishing and connect it. <laughs> Dude, you ever fly you fishing? Guys, get that dude, the funniest oh, dude. guys. Dude, Slip I wear my rubber flabber. pants right on the train, dude. Dude, dude. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. You know what, dude? <laughs> ah, fuck.